Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of a relationship that's long-lasting, a stable one. Um, this is a very emotionally fulfilling connection. This does look like connecting with someone who shares the same outlook on love as you, and there's a potential for a very solid future with this person, one that will be blissful and emotionally satisfying. So let's see. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy, the Moon, Pisces Energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So you're connecting with someone here where there's potential for like long-term commitment. Uh, for some, possibly there's marriage is an op an, um, a possibility with the Hierophant being here. Um, you know, this is the kind of person you're connecting with. This is a, someone who's thinking about commitment. Um, and with the Nine of Cups, there's this feeling of joy feeling satisfied feeling like you manifested something and it's it's here it's come to fruition because that nine of cups really is like a wish fulfillment um so there's this overjoyed energy um we do have the moon here though um so it's like you're coming out of a place of confusion you could have felt unsure about something um you could have even felt fearful about a situation like it wasn't going to happen because the moon can be like fears and anxieties but it does look like none of these anxieties or fears will will manifest instead it looks like something is turning out even better than you expect um it looks like something is becoming you know it's like it's becoming more defined you're, you're recognizing how loyal someone is to you how serious they are about you they want this this strong commitment energy with you so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this this is a card of, again, it's like something is becoming more defined. There's this protective energy over this connection. There's this feeling of uh, surviving something here, you know, really overcoming obstacles and recognizing how resilient and strong your bond is with someone. Okay, so let's see. We have the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Two of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Moon in the Reverse, uh, Pisces Energy. So the Moon is in the Reverse this time, which shows that you will get that clarity. You will see something for what it is. You will understand something, and this it's like you'll overcome your anxieties or fears. You know, with the Four of Pentacles, it looks like you're having some sort of security uh, being given to you in this connection. So you could be getting this reassurance of someone is, you know, really making it clear to you that they're all about you and only you. Um, with the Two of Wands, there's this feeling of really thinking about the future, making plans for the future. Um, there's this kind of energy that is like someone, when they talk about their future, they include you in it. You know, there's that kind of energy. That's how they're viewing you. They're, they're taking you very seriously. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have emotions are running high, super moon. So there's definitely emotional connection and fulfillment here. And there's this feeling of 
them making it clear to you how emotionally invested they are in you okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you okay we have this could be the one You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So there's definitely a focus on you. This person is really only about you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. we have immersion and intuition when you reach the end of what you should know you will be at the beginning of what you should sense so someone does the intuition is telling them that you're for them there's even a spiritual aspect to the connection with the hierophant here they intuitively they they can sense that you're the one okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice aries have surrender to trust trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries